Hey guys, it's me, Miss Cora, here again, and today I'm actually with my mom. This is Miss Betsy. Hi. And the reason she's with me today is because the video is going to be for you guys to make a recipe with your parents. Um, the recipe we're making is a granola recipe, and it has some healthy food, and it tastes really good, so it's really exciting. And if you want to um, make it with me while I make it, then... I will show you everything first that you need so you can get prepared and then you can pause it and continue as we go through the process of making the recipe as well as I will include um, a picture of the recipe at the end of the video and I will make sure that it gets sent out to you guys through your teachers. All right, I hope you enjoy it. Hey guys, so I am going to go over all the materials that you need first and then the ingredients. So... Firstly, you need some kind of big uh, oven safe container that you can actually put all the ingredients in as you're cooking it before you put it in the oven to bake. So your food will be made in here and cooked in here. Um, you will need measuring cups, measuring spoons, and some kind of wooden spoon to kind of mix it around a little bit, but any kind of spoon is fine. Um, and then ingredients wise, you need um, oats, just any kind of oats that you get at any store, nothing special about them. Um, so actually we're using pecans today because we don't have almonds. The recipe technically calls for almonds, but you can use any kind of nut that you wish, um, as well as pumpkin seeds, but you can use either one or both or a combination of different ones or just one or the other, whatever you see fit. Um, you can use maple syrup or honey. Today we're going to use maple syrup. And then vanilla. Um, yeah. And then lastly, once it's all baked, we put raisins in it. Or you could use craisins or whatever you have or none. All right, guys. So first, before you start the recipe, you need to remember to preheat the oven. And for this recipe, you preheat the oven to 350 degrees. So I'm gonna go do that, and then we're both gonna wash our hands because you need to wash your hands before you make something. All right, so now that our hands are clean, um, we're going to start by my mom is going to measure out five cups of oats. You can start. One. And while she's doing that, I'm gonna measure two cups of nuts. Four. And there are also two cups of pumpkin seeds in the recipe, so I'm gonna measure two cups of pumpkin seeds. Something that we forgot to include in the beginning was that you need oil as well. You need canola oil. Um, so we're going to measure a fourth cup of canola oil right now. Okay. Mix it now. Yep. Once that is added, I'm going to mix it before including the other ingredients. I'll use stir in the oil with the rest of it. Have either your parent or a friend measure the uh, maple syrup or honey for you while you stir it all in depending on whatever you decide to use like I said we decided to use maple syrup but it's okay whichever one you decide and then you're going to put in the vanilla while you continue to stir All right, and then stir until you feel like it is all mixed well. Look at that. Looks really yummy, right? And then you can put it in the oven. So now that your food is in the oven, it's gonna be in there for a total of 30 minutes at 350 degrees. But after the first 15 minutes, you're going to rotate the pan so. 
all the granola is evenly baked. And while those things are in the oven, making sure that you're watching the time so you know when to rotate it, you can clean up the space that you just made the recipe in. So now I'm going to clean up my space. Once your timer is up, you should have your parents take it out of the oven for you. So I'm gonna have my mom use safe oven mitts to take it out. And now you're gonna wait for it to cool and then add in your raisins. Make sure that you stir it right when you take it out of the oven. Now that you've waited five to 10 minutes for your granola to cool, you're going to measure as many raisins really as you want. And so I'm gonna put in a few cups. I'm gonna do that right now. And now take your spoon that you used before and stir it all in together. Being careful that you don't touch it if it's still hot on the outside of your pan. All right, now you can see that it's very well stirred. And the last thing that you need to do before putting it in a container and letting it be in your cupboard or fridge, you clean the spoon that you used. All right, uh, now that you guys have finished the recipe, taken it out of the oven and stirred in your raisins, you can now turn off the oven, make sure you do that, and wash your spoon because that's the last thing you need to clean up. And then you can either store your granola in the cupboard if you think that you're gonna eat it within a week or so, or you can put it in the fridge if you think it'll take you a little bit longer to eat just to make sure that it doesn't go bad. And if you're looking for ways to eat this, um, there are many ways, but the most probably common way slash the ways that my family eat it is with either yogurt or just milk. So I hope you guys can enjoy your granola and have a good rest of your day. Bye.